Hello YouTubers, it's Magic the Gathering UK here again. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit spicy. We're going to be opening up three Zendikar Rising Collector Booster Packs. Yes, we are. I've not touched any Collector Booster Packs since, uh, what was it, Throne of Eldraine, I think it was. I opened a couple of those ones. Um, so I picked these up, thought we'd give it a go. Obviously these are just loose packs, so the chances of us getting anything good from them are pretty slim. Probably not going to get a foil expedition or anything like that, but you never know, right? This is part of uh, part of what opening packs is all about. It's all about the gamble, all about the hunt, all about the fun. All right, so let's see what we can get. There's not a lot of good stuff in this set in general, but I'm hoping for a foil full art pathway because those look amazing. They do look pretty amazing. Other than that, a scoot swarm would be pretty cool. A full art. Or well, the alt art uh, Lotus Cobra would be pretty nice to get as well. I don't know, really, just a, just a bit of fun, really, see what we can get. As I say, there's not really much of value in this set as a whole, so just for a bit of fun, really. We have a foil Fissure Wizard, first common. Of course, every card in this pack is foil. So we have a Fissure Wizard. We have a Drana Silencer. We have Turn Timber Ascetic. We have Cleansing Wildfire. They're slippery to pick up. Yeah. We have a Tajura Snare Caster. First uncommon is a Grotag Night Runner. So I don't know the pack order on these, so I don't know when we get to get to the spicy stuff, but we'll soon figure it out. We have a Kalni Ambush, it's a flip card, who turns into Kalni Territory. There we go, a nice flip, uncommon foil there. We've got Flat Mountain Foil. Okay, I guess um, stuff starts happening after this perhaps, I'm not too sure. We've got Flat card next. What could that be? It's an Oran Reef Ooze. That looked quite cool in the extended art there. An Oran Reef Ooze. Very nice. And the next, I don't, I don't know what, uh, oh yeah, not all the cards are foil, sorry. You, you get full art and all arts and stuff like that as well. But we've got a foil mythic, Drana the Blood Chief. There we go, a foil mythic, pretty spicy. Don't think that's a very good mythic thing yet, but it's still cool nonetheless. Still very cool indeed. They smell strong of plastic. Yeah, they got a very like, yeah, plasticky kind of <laughs> smell. We've got an alt art card next, by the looks of it. A Spitfire Legac. There he is. Mr. Legac. So you can get commons and stuff as well, apparently, in the uh, alt art section, I suppose. We have another alt art card here. It's a brush fire elemental, an uncommon one this time. Very nice, very nice. And then I don't know what happens next. We'll soon find out, I guess. <laughs> Another alt art card by the looks of it. More, oh, it's a alt art mythic. Murarg Fury of a Coombe. There we go. I don't think that's a particularly good one, but... It is... A mythic alt art. So there we go, that's two mythics this pack. Nice, nice. Couple more cards to go, I think. Oh, it's a foil alt art this time. It's a foil canopy bailoff. So it's a foil common alt art. There we go. These alt arts look pretty common cool foil, has to be said. I think there's one more card. Oh, it's a full art something. Oh, it's a Nahiri. A full. Oh, it's a foil as well. Full, full art, foil, Nahiri. Wow. Is that good? Uh, I don't know if it's very, I don't think it's very pricey, but it certainly looks very cool. I'm very happy with that. A full art, foil, mythic rare, Nahiri, Planeswalker. That is sweet. <laughs> that's pretty nice. You've peaked too early again, I reckon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's another one. That'd be a token. Ah. And a foil angel warrior token. Wow, look at that. What a pack, that's pretty good. Three mythics in that pack. <laughs> and uh, it's a flip one, I think, so there's one on the back as well. Ah. There you go, a goblin construct. 
So you get foil tokens as well. Wow. That's a pretty cool pack. I'm happy with that. As I say, I don't know the values of this stuff. I don't really care too much. This is just for fun. Just for fun, see what we get. But yeah, I'm happy with that Nahiri. The, the, uh, the Planeswalker full art look really cool. And it's foil as well, very nice. These packs don't want to open nicely, by the way. Yeah, they're a bit weird. In fact, they don't really want to open at all. Hey. <laughs> We're in. We have an ardent electromancer. We have a deliberate. It's actually the first blue card we've had. Which is kind of odd. We haven't had a single white card yet. Adventure awaits. Cunning Geyser Mage. Skyclave Sentinel. Alright, uncommon. We have a Blood Chief's Thirst. You have a Shatter Skull Minotaur or Minotaur. For the full art land, we have a Plains this time. Those are cool in foil as well. I like, like to see that. And then, oh. Oh. Oh, this, oh this must be like the uh, Commander slot or Set Booster slot or something like that. I didn't know it was a special one. And it, after land, it's all special stuff. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure where this is from. I don't know if this is from a Planeswalker deck or Commander or something like that, but we've got Obun Muldire Ancestor. A full art mythic again there. Yeah, as I say, I don't know if that's from Planeswalker deck or what, but maybe you can uh, let me know in the comment below. I'm not really big on Planeswalker decks or Commander or anything like that, so I don't know too much about that stuff. But let me know, guys. And we have a, a full, full, uh, not full, a foil land of some kind here. It's a Throne of McKindy. Ooh. Yeah, it's not very good, but foil, foil rare, nice. I'm so sorry, I've got a really itchy finger. <laughs> oh dear. All right, what's next? We have an Alt Art Dreadworm. An Alt Art Dreadworm there. The worm Horror. And then we've got another Alt Art. Should be like two or three Alt Arts by the looks of it. Oh, it's green. It's the Territorial Scythe Cat. Another common. Another common Alt Art. I think you get a foil one next, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps. No, it's not foil. It's just another regular one. Sky Clave Shade. It is a rare one though. There we go. I like the colours on that one. Yeah, that one's very pretty. Shame it's not foil. Oh, that would be sick in foil. <laughs> Sky Clave Shade Alt Art. Okie dokie. And then we've got two more cards. We've got another foil one here. Foil Alt Art. Canopy Bailoff. Didn't we get that one last time? Maybe. In foil. I feel like I saw it somewhere. <laughs> um, don't know. Maybe we did. Yes, we did. We got the exact same foil. Although that one's non-foil. Well, we didn't get a foil one. We got a non-foil one. Okay. Before. Okay. Getting a bit confused here. Canopy bail off foil. Oh, ah, there we go. So one card left. This pack's been nowhere near as interesting as the last one. Oh, it's another full art card though. Foil art, foil full art. Flip card. Flip one. Oh, Hagra Mauling. There we go. Yeah, again, don't think that's particularly good, but certainly looks cool. <laughs> Why were you like, oh? Well, there is a black one that is worth well, a lot, and it's not that one. Uh huh. Agadim's cool. Awakening, I think, is the good one in black. And a flip card. So yeah, not not particularly interesting, unfortunately. And a Hagra Brood print on the back. There we go, that pack was pretty bad in comparison to the first one, but what can you do? We've got an Angel Warrior token and a Goblin. I oh, know, Insect in the back this time. <laughs> an insect. All right, so that pack was pretty medium. So no Expeditions yet, but that's not really a surprise. They're pretty hard to get. I think you only get like one or two on a box. So chances of us pulling any from a random pack that we've just picked up is uh, very slim. But you never know, right? It's always possible. Yeah, that first pack blew that one away. Hope for something good in this one. It's our last chance for something good. Right, here we go. 
We have a Seafloor Stalker. We have a Resolute Strike. That's actually our first white card this entire pack opening, which is kind of bizarre. We have a Mind Drain. Utility Knife. Nahiri's Binding Foil, obviously. Uh, the Uncommons. Then we have an Umara Mystic. Followed by Kazul's Fury, which is a flip card. I think it's just a land on the back, isn't it? Yep, Kazul's Cliffs. Pretty cool. Oh, we got the uh, full art, huh? not full art, foil. I guess it's full art. Island, bucket island thing, which is really cool. I really like that island. That looks so cool in foil as well. Yeah. Pretty happy about that. I'm like, yeah, that looks awesome. I love it. Okay, and we start getting some spicy stuff from here. Oh, we've got full art something. Is this a pathway? That'd be pretty cool. Nope, it's an art con of Amiria. Nothing too good there, unfortunately. Pretty cool though, pretty cool. Oh, we've got a legendary something here. Kaza Royal Chaser, foil. Human wizard, legendary creature. Here we go, again, nothing too good there. Again, most of the cards in the set are pretty worthless, so it's more just for the fun of it all. The first alt art. Looks like uh, we've had this one before. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Where's that pink and purple one? Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. Prowling Felidae. I don't oh, think we did have that. No, one, that, is, that is different, but it's the same colours. Yeah. <laughs> Prowling Felidae. Lovely colours. First alt, and then the second alt. Oh, it's a green one. Looks different. Was that Scoot? No, it's not Scoot. Oh, is it Scoot's one? It could be. No, it's Skyclave Pickaxe. Scoot Swarms with a C, not a K, I think. There we go, Skyclave Pickaxe, an uncommon one. Pretty cool. Oh, looks like we've got a pathway. It's not foil, but it is a full art one. Oh, look at that. River Glide pathway, full art, very cool. I was hoping to get one of those. I was hoping for a foil one, but can't be picky. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, that's, that's still sick, look at that. That looks amazing. <laughs> what a magic card. Beautiful. This red bit on it is different, isn't it? Hmm. Doesn't usually have that little bit on it. Is it's it a flip land. It's a flip land, so on the back there's another land. I see. So, oh, but I don't want to spoil the next card. We'll just go to the next card. Okay. It's an alt art something, beginning with S. Skyclave Geopede foil. On the back of that one, you've got the lava glide pathway on the back. Very nice, very nice. And we've got a uh, Skyclave Geopede foil. Uncommon. The last card, it looks like a foil full art something. I think you always get a foil full art. It's red. Oh dear, that's a bad one. Way, way good guide beast. I think it's like one of the worst rares in the set. So off. Wow, that was a bad pack again. Apart from the uh, pathway, of course. But yeah, that was a really bad pack. I think that is probably one of the worst rares in the set. I think I don't even think this card is playable in any format. So. It's just such a bad card. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, though, because you, you can't even play this in an aggro red deck because you you, you don't you end up with no lands because you, just, you have to return lands to your hand. I don't know. It just seems really bad to me, like absurdly bad. So there we go. Pretty pretty poor packs there, really. The last two. Definitely not worth the money. That's for sure. And a Construct Token, and what was I going to say again? A Drake Token, a Foil Drake Token. Well, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, yeah, that last... Yeah, these these full arts we got were pretty awful in these last packs, but... We got a Wayward Guide Beast. We got a River Glide Pathway Flip Land with the Lava Glide Pathway on the other side. Very cool. Wish that was foil. We got a Kazar Royal Chaser Foil. We got an Archon of Amiria full art, non foil. We got a Hagra Mauling foil full art, which has Hagra Brood print on the back. We got a Skyclave Shade, alt art rare. We got a Throne of McKindy foil rare. We got this thing, the Aboon Muldryer Ancestor Mythic full art, which I don't have a clue what this is from. Either, <laughs> either some kind of Planeswalker deck or. 
possibly commander but i think it's more likely to be a planeswalker deck so almost certainly worthless we did get a full art foil on nahiri though which is really cool again i don't think this is worth very much but it's certainly a very cool thing to get really cool we've got a mythic morag fury of akum alt art we've also got a foil mythic drana the last blood chief so i don't think we got any mythics other than that first pack so that first pack kind of spoiled us, really. Mm -hmm. And we got a full art Oren Reef Ooze. There we go. And we got the cool island as well. That's cool. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this pack opening of Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters. We didn't hit the big time, unfortunately. Couldn't get lucky, but never expected to. One day I'll get lucky, but today is not that day. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering goodness. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.